بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and welcome back uh, to an other exciting lesson of English subject for grade three. Students, as you remember that we had finished all the questions and answers, and today we are moving on to the next part of the exercise, and that is question number two of comprehension part. In order to do this question, you have to open your books at page number six, and uh, you will take out your pencil, razor, and a ruler. Pencil, razor, and a ruler. Okay, now I hope that you are ready. Uh, let's start. Answer the questions about these lines from the story. Now they are talking about these lines. You just forget the remaining story. Just forget the story and focus on these lines only. I understand how you feel, said the little girl, who was truly sorry for him. I understand how you feel, said the little girl, who was truly sorry for him. Now, they have given you these lines and after that they have given you some questions. And you will write the answers of these questions in front of them. Draw neat and clean lines with the help of pencil and a ruler. Okay, students, you are not allowed to draw freehand lines. Draw a line with the help of ruler and pencil. Don't use any color or ballpoints or any other thing that is not removable. Just use a pencil, a razor, and a ruler. Now, all of your lines should look like these. When you are drawing these lines, you can pause the video for that. Draw the lines uh, comfortably and then you can move on to the uh, answers. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. Who is the little girl? Who is the little girl? Very easy question. Who will tell me? Very good. It's... Dorothy. Okay. When you want to write the answer, be careful about the spelling. Spelling of Dorothy starts with capital D. Capital D. Dorothy. Now you can see that I have written, written the answer with capital D. To whom was the girl saying this? Now they are asking that the girl is talking to whom like who is the person she is talking to to whom was the girl saying this what was she saying i understand how you feel what was she saying i understand how you feel so the question is that whom is the girl to whom was the girl saying this to whom was the girl saying this? Very good. The girl was saying this to the scarecrow. The girl was saying this to the scarecrow. Now here scarecrow is a proper name in the story. So write this with a capital S. The next question is why does she feel sorry for him why does she feel sorry for him why does she feel sad for the scarecrow why does dorothy feel sad for the scarecrow very good the answer is because he did not have a brain because he did not have a brain. Why does she feel sorry for him? She feels sorry for him because he did not have a brain. 
because he did not have a brain the next question is what happened next what happened next now what happens when she says that i understand how you feel what happens after this very good the answer is she offered him to join the journey with her she offered him to join the journey with her now you can see that i could not complete the answer in one line so i moved on to the next line you can also draw another line if you cannot finish this answer in two lines you can draw one more line if you do not finish it in two lines otherwise there is no need to draw another line you can see that i have written half of the answer here but i could not complete the answer here so i drew an other line here and completed the answer at this point at this line she offered him to join the journey with her after the completion of question number 2 on page 6 let's move on to question number 3 on page number 7 question number 3 on page 7 This is page seven and uh, question number three. Uh, in this question, you will need your pencil again, so make sure that you have your pencils in your hands. Let's read the question. Which of these sentences are true or false? True or false? now true sentences are those sentences which are correct about the story correct about the story now correct sentences are those which like they are telling you something if that happened in the story that is correct if that did not happen in the story so that is wrong that is false that is incorrect did you get my point we will write t against the sentences which are correct and we will write f in front of the sentences which are incorrect t correct f incorrect because t means true and f means false t means true f means false let's move on do you have your pencils in your hands okay very good okay our first sentence is the scarecrow never gets tired the scarecrow never gets tired now he never get tired means he is never exhausted and i told you tired is the feeling when you play all day when you play all day you work all day and you don't take rest you are tired does this happen to a scarecrow does a scarecrow get tired no because he is not a human being very good he is not a human being so he doesn't get tired he just remain as calm and comfortable as he is all the time so a scarecrow never get tired it is correct because the scarecrow tells this in the story himself he never gets tired now one thing that i want to tell you that be careful about your writing because if you write something else and then you raise that word you rub that word and then write something else you will not be able to understand it later so be careful about whatever you write be careful about listening and watching the video lesson so that you don't make any mistake the scarecrow never gets tired you have to write t in front of this sentence okay t and that t should be clear it should not look like f 
okay the next sentence is the scarecrow is frightened of the farmer farmer is he frightened of the farmer or what farmer no okay so what is he frightened of lighted match very good he is frightened of a lighted match and in this sentence they say that scarecrow is frightened of a farmer so what would you write here very good you will write f here because it is false scarecrow is frightened of lighted match and in this sentence they say scarecrow is frightened of the farmer so this sentence is completely wrong false so we will write f in the second box now let's move on to the third sentence which is the great oz lives in the diamond city the great oz lives in the diamond city now try to remember which city Dor dorothy was going to which city dorothy was going to that was emerald city very good and here they say that great oz lived in the diamond city if he lived in the diamond city why was dorothy going to emerald city does this make any sense no great oz lived in emerald city therefore dorothy was going to emerald city and here in this sentence they say great oz lives in diamond city so this is wrong wrong incorrect so what would you write here very good we will write f here okay the next sentence is dorothy has a dog called coco this is easy one dorothy has a dog called coco what was his name very good its name was toto but they say its name was coco so what would we, we write here easy very good we will write f here okay the last sentence is the scarecrow is wearing a blue hat correct very good the scarecrow was wearing a blue hat and here they have written the same thing it was blue and it was a hat so correct so what do you write for correct sentences very good we write t for correct sentences t this is it now students uh, today we finished the part a of the exercise we did question number two and three from part a of the exercise let's have a quick review of what we did today now on page six we had this question it was answer the questions about these lines from the story now the lines were i understand how you feel said the little girl who was truly sorry for him and we wrote all the questions and answers like we wrote question we wrote answers of the questions here we wrote answers of the given questions on the lines which we drew with the help of pencil these are the answers of the questions which we did today and then we did question number three on page number seven which was true and false we had to determine that which sentence was correct about the story and which was not and we were writing t in front of uh, correct sentences and we were writing f in front of the wrong sentences this was all for today i hope you learned a lot and uh, i hope that i will receive all the homeworks regularly and you are not wasting your time wish you best of luck and thanks for your time اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما